Hi, I'm Donald Brennan. This is one of my favorite places in New York, Brooklyn. From its brownstones to beautiful parks. I know the borough inside and out. From new development to resales to my neighborhood picks. So grab a smartphone or a pad and pen while I share my two cents. When one thinks of wine in New York State, seldom does Brooklyn come to mind. Urban farming and winemaking are gaining popularity across the country. And here in the borough of Kings, Brooklyn Winery has succeeded in putting Brooklyn on the map for those seeking great wine. Brooklyn Winery is more than a restaurant. It has its own winemaking room. In order to learn more about how this urban winery made its mark on the Williamsburg Brooklyn real estate scene, I turned to one of the men behind the vision, co-founder Brian Leventhal. Hi, I'm Donald Brennan. Brian Leventhal. Nice to meet you, Brian. Nice to meet you as well, and welcome to Brooklyn Winery. So not much experience running a restaurant or a winery. Now you have both here. Talk me through that, please. Got the idea for Brooklyn Winery when I was at kind of home winemaking center where you learned how to make your own wine. Kind of, they walked you through the basic steps. You went about four or five times a year, and at the end of the, the year, you actually ended up with a bottle of wine that you made. And one day, that light bulb kind of clicked on. Why can't an establishment that is wine-related from the manufacturing side actually exist in New York City? What we learned quickly was, in order to operate a manufacturing center in Brooklyn, with the higher cost of real estate, there needed to be a hospitality arm attached mm -hmm. to it. The wine bar is as simple as people coming in off the street, enjoying uh, the wine with the food that we make here. We serve the wine in the wine bar in a really interesting way. And then the event component of the space, uh, we, we cater to things as small as birthday parties all the way to full, large weddings. So people can buy wine from the shop here. Do you also ship throughout the United States? Absolutely. So we, obviously someone can walk into the winery, purchase a bottle of wine to take home with them. We're currently shipping to about uh, 10 different states right now, so mm -hmm. you can check in and see which ones we ship to. So this is our wine bar dining room. Patrons can come in off the street, enjoy a glass of wine, mm -hmm. as well as a bite of food. Our chef, uh, Gordon, has developed a great menu that pairs well with the wine. All right, so this is our parlor room. Uh, we use this room for a lot of small events. And one of the great features of this space is the window wall overlooking the barrels. What a great space for tasting wine and hosting events. Can we take a look at the winery? Let's go take a look. This is freshly picked Merlot. Everything is hand harvested, so we actually have individual people cut every cluster of grapes off of the, uh, the vines. Um, but obviously grapes are on a stem and we want to separate all of the grapes from the, from the grape stems that they're on. So we have, um, we have a sorting line into a destemmer set up here in the space that's going to help accommodate this. We have uh, our 2015 Cabernet Sauvignon in here and uh, as you can see all of the grape skins are actually pushed to the top of the bin and Connor right now is actually breaking apart this cap, which is actually pretty dense at this point. And you can see that all the liquid is sitting below the cap of grape skins. And all that bubbling, that's the yeast at work. That's the yeast converting all of the sugar into alcohol. What we have here is Malbec grapes. Uh, these grapes were from Northern California. They fully finished the fermentation process. So now we actually have to squeeze all of the wine out of the grapes. Wow. And the machine we use to do that is the wine press. So you have some wine barrels here. Uh, explain what goes on and what temperature to keep this room at. This room is kept around 58, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually age the wine in here for a varying amount of time. We saw how we make wine here. Now let's actually try some of the wine that we make at Brooklyn Winery. Sounds good. Let me grab a seat. I have a beautiful North Fork blend mm -hmm. uh, open. This is a wine with grapes from the North Fork of Long Island. And it's a blend of Merlot and Cabernet Franc from 2012. So imagine the grapes came in three years ago and now we're drinking it. A little swirl. Excellent. So I love the space. Can you talk me through some of the design decisions that you made here? Absolutely. When we were getting going back in 2010, it was really important for us to 
put things back into the space that would normally probably have been thrown away. Good examples of that is we have an element of these reclaimed uh, mosaic wood walls mm -hmm. and uh, we actually have several of them throughout the space and they're all from different places. The one here in the wine bar is with wood from different barns. In our atrium space we have planters that are from an old uh, mill belt that carried yeah. grain. We cut apart the belt got the physical planters and planted them with succulents that are now on our wall. Wow. Those are a lot of the decisions we made as we were building out the space. Well, it looks like your gamble on a new business venture here in Williamsburg has really paid off. I'm sure you have plans to expand. Can you share it with us? Anything beyond the Brooklyn border here? Sure. We've, uh, we've looked at a lot of other markets to bring part of the, the Brooklyn Winery concept someplace else. And after a lot of research and exploration, we decided the Washington DC market is really primed for this. And we will be the first winery ever in the District of Columbia. We'll overlay it with a restaurant and the event space similar to what we have here in Brooklyn. Very exciting. Sounds like a great idea. I'm sure you're gonna do great. Thank you, appreciate it. It's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, it should be great when it, uh, it opens. Brooklyn Winery has not only helped to reshape Williamsburg and Brooklyn, it's made a national name for itself with its urban roots and solid wines. The owners are urban pioneers who took a chance that paid off. I'm Donald Brennan of Brennan Real Estate.